it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a vibe, yeah, yeah, it's a vibe, it's a hop in the ride, do suicide, yeah, yeah, slow it down, dirty spray, yeah. Guys, what's up? It's free. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the makeup that's all over my robe. I am super sorry. So tonight we're gonna be doing it's nighttime. So tonight we're gonna be doing a hair review. I feel like I have not sat down and talked to you guys in over a month. I've been doing vlogmas and stuff like that. So tonight we're just gonna do my hair. Um, so I want my hair, so I have to take holiday pictures this week. So I'm trying to like do my hair really, really neat and really, really nice. This unit is from uh, Mega Looks. I'll leave the link to everything down below in the description box for you guys. So don't you worry about all of that. Just I just want to me, y'all. I hate when my cat lip goes sweating. But I just wanted to come on here and show you guys how I am going to apply this wig. I'm not going to do much talking because I kind of want to just concentrate on the hairline. That's very, very important to me. Now, with this unit, I feel like I did have to pluck a lot. So, I kind of over plucked it on purpose because I'm trying to... It's this girl on Instagram. Well, it's this lady. I don't know who she is. But I think she's from, I want to say Africa or the UK. One of those. But she overplucked her unit so well. And I really like that look. So, I did try to overpluck it a little bit. But I'm going to see how it looks when it all comes together. Um, I think this is more of like a body wave wig. But it don't look like anything now because I washed it. And I did dye this unit a jet black. So, what we're going to do is use our homie down and heat like we always do and we're gonna use the even black hairspray which is this y'all know the routine it looks crazy but I use that a lot and also I'm gonna take my mousse because the hairline that this is a little light I already put foundation on like the kiss foundation on the lace but I'm gonna add a little bit more of that a little later so I'm gonna just set up everything I need for my hair um, my blow dryer and stuff like that and we're gonna go ahead and get started with this install that should be pretty easy I don't know it should be pretty easy all right you guys so let's go ahead and glue this girl on I am going to I'm not gonna talk much okay so what I'm gonna do is push her back y'all know the routine push her back I'm gonna clean my forehead with the makeup wipe to make sure that it is nice and clean okay this is a step that you want to take it's very important if you see that my nails look a little orange inside it's the makeup I am using a lot of makeup today <laughs> and I have not washed my hands yet because I'm gonna get them right back dirty so yeah that's all that is so I'm just gonna clean my forehead because this is not my hairline my hairline starts right here like a normal hairline but I like to put my units on my forehead a little bit. So, yeah. Just put little dots. This glue is so good, y'all. This is a really good glue. This is the only glue that I like to use. So, you want to continue this little dot system all the way through. I am going to be doing a very detailed, oh, not on my lash, oh, not on the side of my face. Um, I'm going to be doing a very detailed video on how I prep my wigs before this part. So you guys can see how I am like prep it and get it ready for a flawless install. We're going to do one layer of this and then we're going to let it dry, do another layer and then a layer of glue. I mean a layer of so I'm gonna spray it on my hand and put it on the hairline and let it dry so let us do this part really quick okay so now we have our two layers and the glue on so it's time to lay this baby down Whew. this wig is nice and snug I always cut the lace off after I don't want it too far up 
I hate when my my laces are too far on my forehead. So that looks pretty decent. I'm gonna make sure I get it and grab it and hold it. Then I'm gonna push it down. Y'all know the routine. Make sure that lace is really pushed in that glue girl. And this lace seems to be a little too thick, not too thick, but it's like more like a fabric lace. So it's a little thicker. So you want to make sure that you glue it down really good. Okay. Yeah, this lace is a little thick. It's thick. It's kind of like a fabric, but that don't mean it's a bad lace when it's like that. So I'm gonna go ahead, I always cut it in the middle first, and I'm gonna cut as much lace as I possibly can off. Going up and down, up and down. This is what I normally do. You could definitely use your eyebrow archer as well. Cut a little bit more of the lights off. I have to cut it neatly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some tedious work and I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue. This is my little tedious work to make me look like I have a super flat hairline. So I take the back of the comb. Y'all know the routine, but if you are new, let me show you. I take the back of the comb and I lift it up because this lace is not all the way down. And I just go under it piece by piece and adding glue to piece, piece by piece. That really makes a difference, guys. And your unit, if you do that, this is called like melting the unit down. I promise, if you do this step, your wig is gonna last longer and it's gonna be more flawless. And by this lace band kinda on the thicker side, you definitely wanna make sure that you push that lace all the way down. Okay, you guys, so we, excuse all the moves. I did go over the hairline with my um, Balm Collection Sweet Carmel Mousse. I'll leave this down below in my Amazon store for you guys. But I have not tied the unit down yet, so it's not as flawless as it can be. But right now, now that I've made sure all the lace is like pretty much pushed down, that was like my main concern. Just disregard all this on my forehead. It's not going to stay there. So now I'm just taking my hot comb and making sure that every... I'm just kind of melting the glue a little bit more with the hot comb. I don't know. I just do that. Like making sure whew, the lace is like melted inside of the glue. And I feel like the hot comb really helps with that. And of course, I'm just... This hair is pretty much thick. Like this is a very thick unit. Um, so that's a great thing about it. So I'm just making sure I just take the hot comb and just put it so close be very careful you don't want to burn yourself ladies you don't want to burn yourself as you guys can see I kind of over plucked it but I kind of like it like that I really do it really photograph right might not be all that perfect in pictures i mean i mean it might not be super perfect in person but when you over plug and you're taking some pictures it looks very very natural but it's a lace don't get it twisted it's definitely a lace but it definitely look like it's coming from my scalp look at that that is giving scalp work right so just making sure the heat and the glue going against it, it really, like, really helped melt the hairline. That's what I learned. 
tie it really oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna tie it down with one of these bands here really tight and I'm gonna scroll TikTok for 10 minutes until this is like kind of dry I'm gonna this crap off of my forehead <laughs> okay so we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes and then we're gonna you know pull it down in 10 minutes ladies ladies and gents okay okay you guys I didn't even have this on for like three minutes okay like I'm just I have to finish my hair tonight so I kind of blow dried it a little bit it's not gonna be you should definitely leave it on longer don't do like me okay do not do like me but it's still a flawless period period okay 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 it's skimmy this hair is so full this is some full hair let me step back so you guys can see let me zoom y'all out a little bit. Sorry about my wig here in the background. I've been doing a lot of hair. Okay, this hair is so full, y'all. So full. So soft. So buttery. So it's time. Time to style this unit. My favorite part. Oh, this no makeup on my forehead is driving me crazy. Let me put uh, a little powder on the forehead or something, girl, because it looks weird. And I don't want to look weird all over Instagram because sometimes these companies. They use your video on Instagram, for, you know, for pro promo, and I don't want to look crazy. Powder. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so pretty! You could do your hair in so many different styles, but let me show y'all my style inspiration real quick but my hair um let me, see. let me show y'all so y'all can see what type of look i'm going for so i don't know if y'all can see her here this beautiful young lady here so you see how flat it is like the regular little pushover method but I just love how flat and effortless her hair is I'm definitely gonna do a baby hair she don't have a baby hair but I want to do a little baby hair you guys right now I'm just doing flat iron curls cuz I feel like I like to do flat iron curls and then I like to go back over it with like a bigger curl or towards the end but I just feel like flat iron, flat iron <laughs> curls last longer for me. Um, so lately I've just been doing like a flat iron curl just for that, you know, just so the hair can last a little longer. Like the curls don't just keep falling out and keep falling out. So before I cut my hair in layers, I always like to just... Um, you know curl it this hair is so soft y'all when I tell you it curls so beautiful it's just like butter I promise you this hair is so soft this is a really good unit so as you guys can see this is the curls on this side and then we'll put layers in it a little later yeah. so you want to make sure when you're curling your hair you pushing it back out of your face 
if that's the curl that you if that's the curl you are going for you want to make sure it's back see like so so we're going to do this all the way around i'll go ahead and finish this off camera but you guys see how i'm doing it and then this side i'm going to push back as well okay okay you guys so i put these uh, loose curls in the hair not too much not too much my baby hair is definitely not all of that right now i'll get it right as time go <laughs> but um i feel like my hairline is a, still a little white just a little bit so i'm gonna take a little bit of bronzer palette powder this is super dark so I'm gonna try to find a powder that's like kind of darkening me but not too like this is good this is a good bronzer powder and I'm gonna put that on the lace part right here like so I gotta do this baby hair over here I haven't did that baby hair yet <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I think my hair looks similar to the girls on. It's pretty flat, and that's the whole look I was going for, that very flat look. I'll definitely do my curls a little better, but here's the look, guys. Really cute. Make sure you guys check out Mega Looks units. They are very, very soft and buttery, y'all. These units are so soft and buttery. I'll be wearing this unit for the rest of the week. So you guys will be seeing this unit in my vlogs. I'm not even going to curl this hair tight because I know I'm just going to sleep. So tomorrow morning it's going to look even better. So make sure you guys check them out. This is the finished look of this unit. I think it looks really good. Really classy. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll leave everything down below. Bye, guys.